Hello there, Virgos. Welcome to your May. I feel that this month deals heavily, heavily with communication. And uh, it could still be the residual energy of that Mercury retrograde that we have uh, experienced in the month of April. It's going to continue until May 3rd. And so one of the things that I feel uh, coming through here is, um, you know, you are generally a very straight shooter. And that basically means that um, when you communicate, you communicate very, very well, very effectively. You are very verbose and very eloquent. And you get your point across in few words, okay? Geminis, um, they're also ruled by Mercury. But Geminis are a little bit more scattered and a little bit more long-winded. And they might take, they might require multiple tries to be as concise and to be as articulate as you are. And so the, the thing coming through here for this um, cycle in terms of spiritual guidance is um, for you to be, be very, very careful about communication, okay? And um, I feel that generally, like I said, you communicate well, but in situations where you feel emotionally hurt, where you feel uh, some, someone is not being fair to you, where you feel like you have suppressed you know, anger and resentment for a really long time, you know how to lash out. And when you lash out, you know how to cut down a person. So you, you aim for the mark and you know where to strike them. You know where they're vulnerable. You know w what to say to hurt a specific person. Okay. And so because of this energy, I want you to be very, very careful and really think about what you're trying to, what your objective is, what you're trying to achieve. And, uh, to be very clear as well that, um, you know, whenever, step away from situations, whenever you're operating from a space of hurt feelings, of anger, feeling misunderstood, feeling an, an injustice has been done to you, or feeling frustrated, okay? So when these big emotions take over, it's important for you to take a step back and not react. Because, because you're so concise, you know how to hit your marks, and I feel that you, you know how to hurt, and so my advice overall is, uh, you know, slow down a little bit, okay? Um, so that's the first thing. The other thing that I'm seeing overall is that, and this is similar to the Sagittarius uh, mid-month reading that I did last month, so in for the mid-April reading. I feel that you are a wielder of secrets, okay? A lot of people, they trust you. They entrust you with their secrets. They come to you for advice. They come to you for guidance. And um, you give people a lot of advice. A lot, a lot of advice. And they don't follow it. They don't, you know, whatever reason they come to you. And then it's like uh, water off a duck's back. It, it just bounces off them. And they continue doing things in their own way. And as a result of it, you know, they see calamity and just um, um, breakdowns. In their own lives and so because you wield all these secrets and you wield so much wisdom and power you see things almost like with a bird's eye view you know you're just like if you go this route this is gonna happen for you if you on the other hand take this other route here's what's gonna happen so you have a lot of insight into human you know in incentives human motives you have a lot of insight and wisdom to guide yourself and others to a place of safety, to a place of, um, you know, for their greater good. And so keep in mind, you know, as somebody, as the sign that's meant to be of service to humanity, you have all these secrets. And sometimes people energetically, they're not where they you want them to be in order to really, you know, take the advice to heart energetically, financially, um, just spiritually, they might not be at the right moment yet to listen to what you have to say. And so if they're not energetically where you need them to be vibrationally, they're not there to, to heed the warning signs, to heed the advice. Um, I feel that you have to, you know, learn like loving detachment. And you have to communicate to the point where you understand at a baseline level where they're at so that you can communicate in a way that allows them to, 
to kind of to allow that message to really trying to get ahead in life you know and they they're they they've been battling their own demons trying to get ahead trying to pull themselves off their own you know bootstraps trying to make a better life for themselves trying to make better decisions overall and trying to you know just uh sail away from um i i want to say like descent so this is a card about, you know, um, power. This is a card about like overcoming internal struggles so that um, you or the other person can move forward and ahead. And um, I feel that you're dealing with somebody who has been very, very careless. This is the card about the fool's journey. Okay, so you're dealing with somebody who has a lot of lessons that they need to learn. And they, they've also been behaving in a very reckless and careless manner. And um, they have guilt. They have guilt. They have inner demons that they need to get rid of. You know, they 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 have like major major important life lessons that they need to learn. And so everything that you're telling them, yes, it resonates, and yes, it makes sense. And because you are this figure here, the hermit, you're able to see the forest for the trees. You have just, you know, by virtue of being you, you are from a higher vantage point. You're able to see what they're doing. You're able to, you know, light the way for the rest of humanity to follow so that they can be as productive, as efficient, and as successful as they want to be. And so the thing here is some people are not ready to receive these messages. And no matter how much you, you drill, no matter how much you press, it's just not going to be coming through in, um, you know, in, in, in the time frame that you'd hope, okay? So practicing detachment is going to be very good for you. And then on the other hand, on the other hand, I feel like for, for some of you, for some of you, I, I just feel like there's this idea about like, I wash my hands of you, you know, I'm done with you. You're not listening to my advice, I'm done with you. And then the other person comes back and asks you for advice. And you're like, no, I'm done with you. So when somebody is coming for advice, you know, it's, um, yes, I feel that I, I understand where you're coming from. Because it's frustrating when, you know, it's, it's the same problem. And somebody is dealing with the same problem month after month, year after year. And you're trying to, you know, give them advice. But they're not listening. And so I, I feel just be very patient, just, um, you know, vibrationally, they might not be where you need them to be to, you know, take heed. Okay. I also feel like, uh, with family members and, uh, I'm, I'm picking this up based on this card. Sometimes, um, well, first, first of all, family members, they know how to push our buttons and we know how to push theirs. Okay. So be lenient with family members, mainly because there's so much history. There's so many things that have happened between us and family members that we don't know how to be objective. So being objective with family members, treating them more like strangers and then, you know, going from there and give them the benefit of the doubt. I feel like that's important. It's really hard to detach with family members, but I feel that you're going to need to. And then I also feel, you know, this is a card about generosity. So when we're offering advice and uh, we want to offer it without strings attached, without having specific conditions, without having, you know, ulterior motives, and especially without having any type of, um, without injecting ourselves into their shoes, because I feel like the person needs to hear the message, that, hear whatever is appropriate for them, okay, in that present time frame, all right? So I feel overall... I don't feel like it's going to be a heavy month for you guys, but um, just just be very careful with communication, okay? Be careful about, you know, um, giving from the heart, I feel is really important, okay? When we give from the heart, we can do no wrong. And if the other person chooses to listen, great. If the other person appreciates, great. If not, move on, okay? So learning to give from the heart without strings attached, without expectations, that's going to be very important for you guys, okay? So best of luck, Virgos. I'll talk to you guys soon. Bye-bye.